Hey there, it's my fourth year doing Extra Life. Once again, I'm playing for Johns Hopkins, and once again, I'm doing it because they saved my oldest daughter's life twice in her first two years of life. Uh, once again, I'm gonna be doing um, either push-ups or sit-ups. Um, if you donate, for every dollar you donate, uh, as an incentive, a way to give something a little fun for, for your donations. And I'll be matching um, dollar for dollar uh, for the first uh, little bit. So the earlier you donate, the further your donation goes. Um, remember, we're doing this for the kids, so any amount you can donate would be great, and it helps a lot of kids get access to care they otherwise wouldn't. So thank you very much, and enjoy whatever game I'm just about to play. Bye. It's time for Eric Plays Multiplayer Civ 6. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, let's go ahead and jump uh, right into it. Uh, maybe, there we go. Alright, so <clears throat> we just finished our uh, foreign trade civic, um, which gives us caravansies, uh, maritime industries, a tr the ability to build a trader, the ability to do a joint war, and trade routes. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about changing civics because I don't have any traders, so I don't need to change and um, worry about extra gold from trade routes. Plus, I'm doing okay on gold right now. So, let's choose our next civic. Alright, so mysticism gives us an envoy to send, say, to Preslav. Um, allows us to build the oracle. Uh, And uh, be able to get great, more great profit points. Early Empire allows us to enforce our borders. Uh, build settlers quickly. And craftsmanship lets us produce certain units more quickly. I'm going to go for Mysticism. This one seems to be pretty good. Alright. So, so now we're able to maintain... Uh, tr more trade outs than before. Before we had zero, now we have one up here. So I'm going to make a note over here on my um, Civ notes that next turn I should build a trader because I may forget. I might play the next turn today, tomorrow, or I might play it like weeks from now. So um, opening that up. All right, so in my India game for City 1, I'm going to say build a trader. Okay. Coming back over here. Looks like I can get over here in one turn, but I'm probably not going to be able to found my city. Um, that's annoying uh, because... Oh, someone's standing there. Some warriors, which I don't wish to fight, so I'll go over here instead. Uh, looks like I found another Civ over here. It's not Dave, because Dave is not yellow. So we'll see who that is. Probably next turn they'll say, Hey, here's a... I've got someone to send you. Alright. So we'll take a look at that. Um, oh, the Empire of Congo. Very cool. So the Congolese. Alright, so... Um, they might attack and steal my settler if I go there and can't found it on one go. Let's see what happens. Da, 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 da. Yep. Yeah. Well, I would have a minor victory, so I'm hoping that means that um, they're not just going to take me right away. Uh, I'm going to head this way. Okay. This is a weird bit of geography here. Um... So I'm pretty close to the coast, and this second city could end up with quite a bit of copper, which is nice. Good trading resource. All right. I think that does it for this game. Let's move on to the next game. And that's Mvembe Anzinga from the Congolese Empire.
All right, a little instability there in my uh, green screen. All right, let me save this game. Submit the file. And head out to the main menu. I think the next game is ready. And it is. From the first stirrings of life beneath. All right, one second. Get back into the game. All right. So I've got one unit that needs orders. This warrior got a settler coming. All right. Since I'm sending him back for the settler, let's go do some exploration this way. Find some crabs, which just makes me think of all those um, door monster skits. All right. It says next turn. And uh, <laughs> that just kicked me right out. Submit that file. All right, and that's that. So there we go. That was uh, a couple more turns of my uh, Sim 6 multiplayer games that I'm playing with my uh, younger brothers. And uh, it's still, you know, early game, so there's not much time per turn. Uh, eventually, it may take a few minutes turn or more so we'll see uh additionally if you happen to be watching these in order um i just remembered on my um on a drive uh that i was on today while i had time to think that i had completely forgotten about my um uh civ 3 through 6 um chinese playthroughs that i was going to do as part of the um civilization uh, uh 25th anniversary last year or the year before i can't remember but uh, anyway, I'm going to get back to that, finish the Civ 3 Chinese game, go on to Civ 4 and 5, and then 6, because I still haven't played as the Chinese in 6 as far as I can remember. So um, there's there's that little programming note, if you will. And um, I guess that's it. Just remember to um, donate for Extra Life. Uh, it really is a great cause. And you could be the first one. And since I'm doing magic donations, um, you would get your uh, money automatically doubled and also um, force me to do push-ups or sit-ups depending on, um, on what's going on my wrist at the time. And so there you go. It's been uh, Civ 6 and I'm Eric. I'll see you next time. Oh, actually, and this is kind of a little postscript. Um, don't forget to check out uh, Lexi B's channel. She's She usually has a pretty humorous take on some really crazy games out there. And... Uh, I got back into uh, some of her videos um, recently, and, and uh, especially now with the uh, Humble Bundle uh, Honey Pop Honey Bundle going on, uh, I think it's really funny to see her take on uh, on Honey Pop. So anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.